Hey, this is uh, Oli from Metal.de and I'm together with uh, Maurice from Legion, Legion of the Damned. And it's a great pleasure for me. And uh, we have a small talk about the festival. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you're about to play in about two hours. Is that right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Are so you nervous? Yeah, five. Yeah. Um, not now, but usually an hour before the show, I need to pull myself back and okay. focus. And, yeah. Do you have some rights uh, to prepare for the show? Not really, but I, I need to be alone. Okay. And usually, uh, I sit on a Dixie. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only place where nobody okay. who comes to me or talks to me and uh, I don't see the band I just sit there and okay. just focus okay. going over the songs and everything. Great. And thoughts about the uh, the festival, mm -hmm. the Summer Breeze, how, how is it for you? Yeah, it's one of our favorite festivals. It's, uh, it's well organized, great vibe. Um, yeah, one of the best. Is there anything the organizers could do better next time? Um, if I compare it to festivals like Grass Pop, because it was also at Wacken, they have lots of trucks where you, when you go to that stage, yeah. lots of cars, lots of trucks, you go into campsites. And yeah. With Grass Pop, that's none of this. You know, it's, yeah. you have cars and then there's a whole artist village. You don't see the cars and the camping yeah. and the trucks. And the, that's what I don't like. But you know, okay. it, it's, it has to do with structure and probably the area and how it's yeah. set up and built. So, and yeah. Are going to watch some <laughs> other bands as well? Uh, I have my kids here with me. Oh, yeah. One is seven, one is two. Uh, I was planning to see Power Wolf. Uh, the drummer is a friend of us. And um, I wanted to see Abbott, but uh, it depends on how long the kids <laughs> hold on. I see. So, I see. but yeah, those are the two bands that I want to okay. check out. What is the uh, best thing for you to play on a big, huge festival like this compared to smaller gigs like club shows? Oh, that's hard because I like club shows more because it has more the vibe. You know, it is the bigger festivals. It's you reach a lot, a lot of um, audience, but um, they're always far away. And you know, sometimes when there's wind and uh, the, the sound is different. Um, so I, I prefer smaller clubs because the vibe is there. You interact with the people. Uh, but the bigger festivals, yeah, you reach a lot of people. It's, it's yeah. the vibe is different. So it, it, it's, it's both great. But if you if you ask me like, what do you prefer? Then I prefer not even the shows which two thousand, three thousand people, just even three hundred people. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. I like that old school yeah. kind of getting deaf kind of sound. <laughs> yeah, and that's cool. That's cool. But the bigger festivals, yeah, I mean, uh, you a lot of people, and you and it's it's a social thing. You know, you you, you see a lot of bands, you meet a lot of bands. Uh, a lot of people from media and stuff like that. So that's what you don't have when you play in a 300 club show. Yeah. So, yeah. You might uh, get this one as a stupid question, uh, but if you had um, ju the, just one choice for a keyword to describe Legion of the Dan, would it be death or fresh? Uh, fresh. Yeah? <laughs> to, me, to me, it's more, it's a, a bit more death metal. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it started out as trash. And I think we, of course, we have a new guitar player, well, of new, he's still doing it more than 10 years, but of course, he has a different playing. Uh, he has his death metal elements, but the roots are still thrash metal. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Eric is always like, that's how I am as well, like Slayer, you know, don't stop. You know, when there's a break, don't go like, yeah. it goes like, yeah. and, and yeah. Slayer vibe, you know, yeah. that's, yeah, that's for me still thrash. But of course, the sound might be thrash, maybe my voice gets a little deeper uh, i mean i don't sound like allergy for the week feel the blade yeah. kind of vibe i'm getting older yeah. you can maintain that kind of voice that's that's just hard that's, that has to do with aging and uh, so yeah there are a lot of people saying death metal which is totally fine when they say death metal thrash death fine but the roots where we're coming from is thrash metal so yeah. i prefer thrash metal to name some other bands from the netherlands like s fix or body farm Back in the days, maybe Gorefest, they always uh, have been well known as energetic live bands. Yeah. So Legion of the Dam. Mm -hmm. Do you have something in the in the Netherlands and the water you drink? Yeah, that, I think that so. All of those bands. We hardly drink water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's. But I think that there are, there are also German bands who go crazy, like yeah. you know. So it's not typical Dutch, but yeah, you you mentioned a, a few that. 
that are really uh, going hard. It's, it's always exciting to, yeah. to yeah. see those bands. Yeah. Uh, you're producing records not in, in a very quick period of time. Mm -hmm. There are always a couple of years between, I guess. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, the, I mean, uh, a lot of people are asking me this now with a new record. And of course, the, the obvious reason is, of course, the Corona years. So two years were gone anyway. And uh, we have been producing uh, a lot of albums in the beginning, but most of the albums were already on the shelf. You know, they were already recorded in 2004, 2005, and then they released in 2007, 2008. You know, it, they feel the blade. You know, Red Alice of the Week will feel the blade. So everybody's like, ah, they are releasing every year a new album, which wasn't true. Yeah. We were re releasing stuff from our cult. And um, so now uh, you notice that everybody got fed up by it. Like, oh, again, the Legion of the Damned album. And then we start like, yeah, we, we feel it as well. You know, it's there's so much pressure and we were doing really well, you know, it's going up yeah. popularity. And then we said like, uh, let's focus on the new record that we had, uh, Ravenous Plague or something, and then take it easy. Take four years, three, four years. And you can also play shows, not only the first year, but also the second and the third year with the album that was just released. You know, if you do uh, Poison Chalice now, we play new songs, but next year we play other songs from yeah. that record. So you yeah. can still go on that. So, uh, and we need, we need at least one year, one and a half to write songs. Yeah. We also have uh, our own uh, jobs. Uh, I have kids, so it's getting harder, more time. You need yeah. more time. But I think four years is, is three, four years is fine. So we, should, okay. we shouldn't do it in one, two, and also not in five, because everybody's like, who's Legion of the Damned? Yeah. <laughs> you get forgotten. So you have to be present yeah. yeah you have to be yeah. present yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i read uh, that you said um that the music of uh, legion of the dam is a bit easy but uh, gain in mind because of that on the other hand when you listen to the poison chalice mm -hmm. it's more there are more melodies more yeah. more song song structures to mm -hmm. was it a uh, natural um evolutional step yeah, or just a coincidence. No, it was chosen because if you listen to, we had of course Richard Abies, then we got Tuan from Gale. He was a different guitar player. He started already with some tweaks here and there, and I was like, oh wait, wait you know, it's it's we cannot do a new guitar play, and all of a sudden it's not Leads of the Dam anymore. So I said like, oh, we have to keep the Leads of the Dam sound intact, and especially the tr -tr -tr -tr, you know, keep it in, in mind that we have this in the songs. So we tried some things here and there with some, not really solos, but some melodies here and there. Uh, and then with uh, Slaves, uh, the Shadow Well, we did a little bit more. And then we had uh, Fabian as a session guitar player, and he's really good in solos and stuff. So when we went tour with Destruction, we had a talk like about the new album, and Twan is like, yeah, maybe you know I should write new songs and then give it to Fabian and see what he thinks. And I was like, yeah, I, I think the best solution is getting Fabian in the band write with us and see what he is coming up to and we can take it a bit further you know with melodics and stuff like that and um yeah that's what we did so yeah. it was chosen yeah and, and i also told everybody said in the beginning with least with the damn like, oh, they, they can't play solos but that's not how it went we had a song ready then we went to andy Klasse. there was a lot of vocals on the songs and then in the end he said like okay let's see where's space for solos and then we listened to the song like yeah, there's so there's focus everywhere. Okay. So uh, no solo on this one. Next song. Okay. So that's how it came to mind, you know. Yeah. So and then in the end, you had two solos. So I told Twan like for this album, like make sure there's there's space. You do a solo battle, you know. And and I tell our uh, guy who does the lyrics, like make sure it's open. Don't yeah. put lyrics there. Make sure that we can do four or five solos. And that's what we did. So it's all planned and chosen. It's not like coincidence. Like hey, all of a sudden we are. Okay. <laughs> okay. Melodic stuff, but it's 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 still driven leads of the damp. It's still a lot of energy. It still has a lot of power. It doesn't doesn't go wimpy at all. Yeah. And uh, we also said like all the melodic stuff and the solos they need to be evil. You know, yeah. don't get some power metal, heavy metal yeah. into it. So. And it's been a good choice. Yeah, yeah. And I, we had lyrics on certain melodies. Yeah. Where I said like, man, that sounds like Man of War, and we cut it out. <laughs> yeah, that was like, like, but the so, I'm like, no, no, just, we're gonna cut it. <laughs> so that's that, that's what we didn't want. Okay, all in all, if you uh, include occult, mm -hmm. you are present for more than thirty years. Yeah, now. Yeah, thirty three. Thirty three exactly. years yeah. now. So it's a yeah, got them long time. What was the best thing that happened to you as a musician in all those years? 
I have a lot of things to be proud of. I mean, I, I can I can mention a lot of highlights that were really for us like whoa, that's like playing Dynamo Open Air Festival '97 uh, instead of Dissection. They were cancelled, and then our cult was asked. We played with Demi Borger. They weren't even big that time. Uh, we did a tour with Exodus. Um, we did a tour with the Creator, Celtic Frost. I mean, Celtic Frost. Then they did Tripticon, so we did the final tour with Celtic Frost. Yeah. Uh, we did a show in Ex with Exodus in uh, Mexico. We did a show in Lebanon, Beirut. We were the only extreme metal band okay. ever playing there. So we had How a lot that? of that. How was that? The reaction from the audience? Great. There was, yeah. and it was a lot of people because I was thinking like, ah, oh, maybe 50 people or something. But people from Syria came and from yeah. uh, Saudi Arabia, and they had also metal shirts, a cult, Leads of the Dam. Like, ah, oh, they ordered it, of course, but. You are amazed. We're like, oh, how did you get this shirt in a war zone? Like, yeah, order it, man. So yeah, this, and we were a bit afraid. It was uh, with yeah. the, the yeah. war of Syria yeah. when we played there. And I told the promoter I didn't want to play there. And uh, he said like, yeah, but we were playing in Dubai. And he said like, uh, you have to do Lebanon as well. Otherwise I cannot cut it with our cars. Okay. And, uh, but we had to send the lyrics to the government in Lebanon. Really? Yeah, to check it. And we didn't bring our call the dead backdrop. <laughs> 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 we, we didn't play Call of the Dead. Yeah. So yeah, that was always checked. It was checked. And I had um, contact with the embassy. So if, if there's uh, like s something going on, like a war or airport is shot, yeah. I need to get contact with the embassy. And, uh, and I told the promoter, okay, I want to play, play, hotel and leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's, that's all the, uh, the things that you have in mind before you go there. But once you are there, yeah. you notice it's just a city like anyone else. Mm -hmm. People are friendly. There's nothing going on. Of course, the the uh, the day where we went back to the airport, you see the bullet holes, and then you see how fucked up it is. Yeah. And uh, there was only one plane going from Lebanon outside. That was British Airways. It's the only plane, and we were checked like five times before going into the plane. Yeah. But that, those are the things. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy Man, this to is exciting. Nice adventure. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah, those kind of things. But a lot of things uh, in our cult. You know, we played the Morbid Angel tour. Also super. Yeah. Too bad it wasn't with Dave Vincent, but you know, play Azekta and yeah. so um, first time rocking. The first time. First time rocking two thousand six. Yeah. First time big stage. Yeah. You know that we were not used to that. Yeah. So yeah, all these kind of things. Great. Yeah. Uh, so I have a long span of yeah. memories. Yeah. That's, that's what I wanted. Yeah, to that's to what hear. we do yeah. it for. Yeah. And uh, if you had the chance to start all over again, and things you would do completely different or it, was it all good in your in no yeah I, I i noticed once i um, once we changed the name into leads of the dam i i noticed what um, what you need in the metal business i thought when we were all curled that it was all about music yeah. you know that a promoter books you because he likes your music yeah but that's not the case yeah. <laughs> it's all about what you sell yeah. how many sure. likes sure. these days and um, so that changed a lot. So I noticed like, oh, I, I did it all wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, with the 10 years or 15 years, not called. But uh, yeah, you see what helps. And um, but if I, the only thing I would not regret is not giving up because we were constantly in a cold times like, fuck that shit, you know, so all these shitty tours that we did and broken buses, like five broken buses in three days, mm -hmm. switching with bags. And then you are young, you know, you're like, ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. But sometimes you go against the wall. We had a, a very big, uh, almost court scene with lawyers for Painkiller Records. And those are the things that uh, you, you're not doing a band for that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. So, um, but I'm, I'm glad that Eric and me started the band. I'm, I'm glad that we never gave up. And sometimes when we are in uh, Dubai playing or whatever, then we look at each other like, yeah, that's what we still reached, you know? Yeah. And it, it's still a hobby for us. A lot of people don't uh, don't see it. They yeah, yeah. think, ah, religion, they're doing it, their job, and Monday, go to work. I know. I that before. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and, and that's hard too. You know, yeah. we are doing the same level as other bands. Yeah. They're doing it for their life. And uh, we also uh, work 40, uh, 40 hours a week. So, so you're, um, yeah, as you said, you're in a band. And what was your uh, Spinal Tap moment uh, that you never wanted to spread into the world? But now you have two. <laughs> I was married to Rachel. 
<laughs> I don't know. That's 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 maybe something nobody knows, and I never talk about it. Okay. Uh, Rich used to sing with her cult, and then she um, she moved to Sinister, but I was married to her. Okay. So maybe that was that's maybe something nobody knows, but other than that, I know I have to think okay. about it. Okay. Not so one, two, three. No problem. So that's all. All right. The famous last words are yours. Check us out on Summer Breeze and check out Metal DE.